Your calculus book never told you this. This terrifying integral needs zero calculus. Literally, zero. The integral from negative 2 to 2 of the square root of 4 minus x squared. Welcome back to Mental Math. Let's dive in. Now, the standard calculus textbook approach would be to use a trigonometric substitution. Let's see what that looks like. You'd substitute x with 2 times the sine of theta. The differential dx becomes 2 cosine theta d theta. The radical simplifies to 2 cosine theta. This path involves changing integration limits, careful evaluation of trigonometric identities. It works, but it's kind of tedious. But let's stop here. This method is perfectly fine, but it's missing something. There's a much more elegant way to think about this geometrically. Instead of just pushing symbols around, let's take a step back and think about what this function actually represents. Consider the curve defined by our integrand y equals the square root of 4 minus x squared. Now, to see what shape this really is, we need to get rid of that square root. Square both sides. This is starting to look familiar. Let's move the x squared term to the left side. Add x squared to both sides, and we get x squared plus y squared equals 4. Notice 4 here can be written as 2 squared. x squared plus y squared equals 2 squared. And you might recognize this as the equation of a circle centered at the origin, where r is the radius. So we're looking at a circle with radius 2. But wait, there's an important detail. Our original function uses the positive square root, which means y is always non-negative. So we're not looking at a full circle, just the upper half, a semicircle. Now remember, a definite integral from A to B is just the area under the curve between those points. So our integral is asking for the area under this semicircle from x equals negative 2 to x equals 2. Let's see what that looks like. Here's our coordinate system. Here's our semicircle going from x equals negative 2 to x equals 2. Those red dashed lines show the integration bounds. The integral is asking for the area under this curve between these limits, this shaded region. That's what we need to find. And it's just the area of a semicircle with radius 2. Once you see it geometrically, the calculation is almost trivial. The area of a full circle is pi r squared. So a semicircle is just half of that. We know the radius r is 2. Plug in 2. 2 squared. That's 4. 1 half times 4. That gives us 4 halves pi. Simplify. And we get 2 pi. So there's our answer. The integral from negative 2 to 2 of the square root of 4 minus x squared equals 2 pi, not through messy algebra, but through seeing what the function really represents. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, consider giving it a like and subscribe for more mental math insights.